All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people, Manhattan, the Boogie Down Bronx, Queens, all the way up Staten Island, and my home borough, Brooklyn. <laughs> Back at the end of the video, and this is going to be on Kevin Durant teeing off on Skip Bayless. You know, Skip Bayless the other day tweeted, <laughs> he tweeted something about praising Kevin Durant, calling him the best player on the planet, and Katie responded by saying, I really don't like you. <laughs> Why did KD say that? Because in his tweet, Skip Bayless took a shot at LeBron James, as he always does. You know, he said something along the lines of, Kevin Durant's proven why he's the best player on the planet with that performance in overtime. Excuse me. You watching, Bron? <laughs> you know, I'll never forget, I was on Instagram. I seen Skip. This motherfucker's talking about, I'm up at 2 a.m. working out on the treadmill. Are you LeBron? <laughs> Oh, man. Let me tell you something, man. Skip better hope LeBron never responds to him. Okay, because people think what Kwame Brown's doing to Stephen A. Smith is bad. Shit. I can only imagine what Le if LeBron were ever to respond, how long that would be. See, this is what Skip said. Kevin Durant is easily the best player on the planet. Can't wait to talk about, it, talk about him on Tomorrow's Undisputed. Have a good night, KD. Upon me. Here's what Skip said. The best player on the planet was at it again tonight in Brooklyn. Going assassin in overtime for the COVID rock nets. Nothing like Kevin Durant. You watch Bron? Here's Skip. Or here's KD. I really don't like you. <laughs> uh, hey, KD, you're officially a Brooklynite, man. <laughs> you're officially a Brooklynite. That was some cold ass shit a Brooklynite would do. You're officially one of us, Kevin. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, but I get what KD was doing because everybody, anybody with the brain knows why Skip riots KD so hard, why he's a, a quote-unquote fan of KD and Kawhi Leonard. It's because he can shit on LeBron. <laughs> Skip knows that Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard, also Steph Curry and Giannis, but he, you know, he, I don't care what Skip says, he's a hater of Steph Curry, and he clearly hates on Giannis, but, um, but, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The, the reason why Skip loves Kawhi and KD is that he can use them shit on LeBron. When KD beat LeBron in the 2017 finals, you know, you know, Skip's been calling KD the best player on the planet ever since then. In 2019, of course, that was the year Kawhi, that was Kawhi's first and only year with the Raptors. That was after Kawhi left the Spurs, and you know how much Skip loves the Spurs, so he hated on Kawhi that year. So he still called KD the best player on the planet, even though KD fucked up his Achilles, and Kawhi won the championship. Okay, Skip, okay, that's why Skip roots for Kawhi. But now the Kawhi, when Kawhi, you know, shafted, when Kawhi shitted on the Lakers and shows the Clippers instead of playing, shows the Clippers instead of playing with LeBron the Lakers, that's when Skip became a fan of Kawhi Leonard again. And Shannon became a huge hater of Kawhi Leonard. The only reason Shannon was kissing Kawhi's ass because he thought Kawhi wasn't going to the Lakers help LeBron. You know how it is. Like, Skip and Shannon, those, they're, they're probably the two most emotional fanboy analysts in the history of sports television. Like those two are so bitchy and so emotional and so feminine, man. Everything's driven by their fanboyism of Tom Brady, LeBron, the Cowboys, so on and so forth. That's why I don't. I only watch their show for entertainment purposes. I don't really take them seriously. I, I really don't. like. It's just entertainment. Everything with those two, especially Shannon, always comes back to either Michael Jordan or Tom Brady. Everything with Skip always comes back to LeBron. When he's praising KD and Kawhi or Kyrie Irving or whoever, it's just a shit on LeBron. When Tom, when Shannon's praising Patrick Mahomes or whoever, it's just a shit on Tom Brady. When he praises LeBron, it's a shit on Michael Jordan. Yada, yada, yada. Like, these two are so, such emotional fanboys, man. It's hard to take either one of them seriously. But like I said, Skip uses both these guys, Kawhi and KD, to, just to shit on LeBron. Like, it's so obvious. It's so blatantly obvious, you know. And just for the record... Just for the record, I think Giannis is the best player on the planet. I mean, Giannis the last three years has two MVPs, a Finals MVP, and a championship. He 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 bounced Kevin Durant's team in the second round last year, and LeBron's team got bounced in the first round. Seth Curry's team got eliminated in the play-in game, and Kawhi got Kawhi got hurt in the second round and hasn't played. I don't think he's played yet this year. So right now, Giannis is the best player on the planet. You know, just just for me, but um. I'm happy for Katie. You know, Katie's got this, you know, this stigma, this stink around him. And it comes from Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless that he's the most thin-skinned superstar ever. And he's so, 
sensitive. It's not that Katie's sensitive. It's just that he doesn't take shit. If you're coming at him and with any disrespect, trying to denigrate on him, he's going to come fire back at you. And good for him. Good for him. Every time an athlete responds to one of these media trolls, these guys say, oh, he's just sensitive. He's just being sensitive. No, it ain't none of that. You're disrespecting me. You're denigrating me. And I'm not going to stand for it. Kwame Brown. Look at Kwame Brown. Stephen A. Smith and the entire sports media shitted on Kwame Brown for like 20 years. And now he's finally teeing off. He started teeing off back in what, like May? Around May, April? Around that time? You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm, I'm so Kwame Brown and Kevin Durant are helping change the narrative. They're giving these athletes, you know, the courage to stand up to their media trolls, their media critics. So I think it's a great thing. You know, now, now personally, personally, I would let this slide. The whole, though, KD's the best player on the planet. Are you watching, Bron? I would let that slide, but, you know, LeBron and KD are boys. They're rivals, but they're boys as well. You know, kind of like Bird and Magic. They were rivals, but they're also friends. So I can see KD was kind of, in a way, from KD's perspective, he was sticking up for his boy, LeBron. But I would just let it slide. Just let it slide. You know, just as me personally, you know, a lot of stuff KD responds to, I would let it slide. But, you know, hey, it's him. KD, do you, bro? You're officially a Brooklyn Knight. <laughs> That was some cold, blunt, Brooklyn-type shit. Really all New York. <laughs> That's some cold New York-type shit. All right? What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think about what what happened between Katie and Skip? Tell me in the comment section down below. Click the like button, subscribe. Hold young brother, go on YouTube. I'm going to see you all.